How do you guys tend to like play these types of games in that way? Do you just kind of play whatever, or do you do you have to do it in specific order? What? Like, yeah, like, like, huh? I just don't have a number. Oh, okay. Do the numerical order. On... I'll do numerical order unless a level's really giving me a hard time. That's fair. That's one. I, I pretty much. Hmm? I'll always play the crash warp rooms in their numerical order unless I really, really can't deal with a level. In cr crash, I I'm like. It depends. It def. It crash. It depends on my mood. Um. But like, for the most part in games like this, I do tend to play it in numerical order. Oh, hey. I guess one benefit to uh, co-op is that you can do these twice as fast. I've never played this game co-op. Diddy Kong can actually, like, dismount. Yeah, uh, Diddy can only dismount if you're playing co-op. Uh, we should get a- we should get a tag mechanic brought back just for old time's sake at some point. Yeah. One thing that is nice is that in Tropical Freeze's hard mode, you can actually curse the other cons. And, um... It's kind of- Guys, them not only give you that option when they're kicking your ass. That's a good question, I don't know. Uh, just, okay, just making sure I don't miss anything. Uh, but it is nice that they at least give you the option somewhere in the game. Okay, that's just a banana point, so whatever. Okay, so this is a pretty cool set piece. Put this octopus over here. Just... I swear to guess. Yep. His cousin. Uh, yeah. He yeah, he returns to tropical freeze in, in um, like a really cool chase sequence. Yeah, he has a whole level dedicated to him. Yeah. And it's arguably one of, and it's all, it's also probably one of the most memorable levels. It's definitely one of the most memorable levels in the world. Right? I don't know if I need to get these bananas for a puzzle base. I don't think you do. No, okay, just checking. Because sometimes that happens, so... I don't know, like, what the, uh, actual reason is specifically why they couldn't get David Wise, but... From what I re remember hearing, uh, a I think he was bu he was busy doing other things when this game came out, um, so what they, what they, uh, ultimately, uh, ultimately decided to do is mainly just focus on remixes of the SNES games and uh, do do some original tracks, like not too many, but um, I guess just enough, because um, they did it, because I know, um, well, I, I, I don't know if it was like me and Mario or like someone else, where it's just like, um, you don't, don't want to mess with, uh, you don't want to mess with the original soundtrack. It's like... Like, Yamoto had much input on the soundtrack. Yeah, I, uh, there, there's, there's Yamoto's influence, if you will. Yeah, I, I, 
I don't know what it was specifically, but I do remember. I do remember hearing about like um, the like uh, let's not go too overboard or whatever. Like there was something. Um, if like if there's like an article or something about the soundtrack of this game, that would help back this up. That would be great because I'm kind of like kind of talking out of my butt right now. <laughs> Um, and if a squid can, like, actually show up near the G, that would be nice. What? Okay, yeah. But yeah, can someone look that up? Just, uh, just for clarification. Nice. Oh boy. This is this is a this is a, rela a nice relaxing level, and it's the only remix. It's the only it's the only time I believe that they remix Aquatic Ambience. Not my favorite remix of, of this theme, but it's it's it's. It's still nice and serene. And they're getting hit for no reason, it's good. Mm. I'm just waiting to see if, like, uh, Scrappy finds anything. I just gotta make sure my phone's on the my phone's charging properly. Okay, this would this would be a, a much better uh, like that weird um one of the bonus room we saw earlier. This would this would be a really good fit for one of those right now. Whatever's going on back there. Uh, okay, I mean, I mean, oops, apparently. For, for audience courtesy, I think it'd be best if you muted your mic when you were away. Thank you. I wish I, I, I wish I muted my mic. Sorry. I. It's fine. I'm not I left my mic on me. I'm sorry. I, I would say I wish I muted myself. I didn't think I'd have to be yelling! 
my mic unmuted while I was away during Wrath of Cortex, and it somehow picked up all the background noise of my family doing laundry. Oh, wow. Like, like, I can't remember what part of Wrath of Cortex it was, but I just left for like 10 minutes and then just picked up random background noise while you were trying to collect crates, I think, in Cortex Vortex. I'm surprised you remember that. <laughs> I, I, I vaguely remember, like, noise, but, like, not when or, like, what level it was. Do I have to do it in the level? I'm kind of curious about this. I don't even know what the level was. Mm. Damn it. Let's see. Did you find anything about the soundtrack struggle? Looking. Okay. Oh, that was just bananas. Okay, I don't care. Also, I was talking about all that yelling. I was like... I wasn't close to that. Wait, what? I, I stepped away because I had to feed my mom, and I had to feed the cat, but apparently, but apparently my, my mom was yelling at me, like, don't feed the cat. Oh, I see. And, and she's got, she getting mad at me for that, and I'm like, I'm sorry if I'm used to my daily routine. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that seems very I misunderstood her at all. Yeah. She yeah. only yells at me, go beat the cat, and so I thought she was going to go beat the cat. Yeah. Oh god. Nice. Yeah, I- Alright for tail not have a landing spot. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is really silly, like, that's not something that needs to be yelled at about, whatever. Good old water. Okay, let's actually get through this this time. Left of this. It's very, it's very easy to stack up on lives in these games, thankfully. So, what, what did I miss? Are you kidding me right now? Well. Um, um, why don't we just, why don't we just, we'll, we'll just finish the level. I bet you it's gonna be at the, like, the start. Again? Oh my lord. Do we still have squawk? I don't, I think you might have to find him again in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Squawks is good boy. Okay, 
Okay, it wasn't out to start, by the way. So I'm just gonna keep an eye out. Well, that was Diddy. Um, yeah, that would help. Again, but... This thing. Yeah, more or less. Obscure as hell hell. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alright. I yeah, I never would have found that without Squawks. That that's kind of ridiculous actually. Okay, fair enough. Fair Not really. It was a cool secret, but I feel like it should have been telegraphed better. God dang it, if you will. Yeah. The worst is still probably that one barrel, that one thing in World 1 where you had to like, blindly shoot down, uh, and then just get a puzzle piece. I like that, by the way, if you noticed, that the other the, the animals on a boat. Yeah, I saw that. It's like the same animals from the intro. Say, say, I'll say this, like, the, the final world in Tropical Freeze really hits you hard if you, if you play Returns. It, um, I, I highly recommend playing Returns before Tropical Freeze because, like, otherwise that, that impact for the final world just isn't there as much. But yeah, this is another cool level actually. Oh, I remember this one. This one has an insta kill obstacle. Yeah. Wait, and you can see it right now. Yep, you have to hide behind walls and stuff. Uh, cause if you get hit by the waves, you, you just dead. You are dead, Con. Ah. Much like that, that uh, DK in that one uh, Donkey Kong Land commercial. Oh, these are some pretty cool bananas. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, great. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just kill me. Anything caught in the way is also get killed. Yeah. Yeah, this is where I'd say this is where the main game starts to ramp up a bit. Because uh, this is quite a bit more intense than what we've gone through. Gotta be patient. Don't wanna make any unnecessary risks. All I can find is an archived IGN article from June 2010 where they interviewed some of the retro people. They basically, <clears throat> the interviewer at IGN basically asked if they were collaborating with any of Rare's former employees for the music and gave the answer no we're not collaborating with rare it's, it seems like they just chose to oh, use their 
Because then they just chose to use their in-house composers to arrange the tracks. Okay, so there's no... It, the, the, end, the, the reason is basically what we, we just wanted to do our own thing. Uh, let me just read the transcript. IGN interviewer, Donkey Kong Country wasn't just a technical marvel in the visual sense back on the Super NES, but it also had an incredible soundtrack. I think a lot of people are wondering what's going on there. Have you approached any ex-rare employees like David Wise to maybe supply the soundtrack for the game? Kanabe, just to let you know, there is no collaboration going on with Rare, obviously. And he said obviously. <laughs> That's not me adding it in. Um, <laughs> continued. Tanabe, from the very beginning, there was a very strong desire on Mr. Miyamoto's part to offer up those original songs, those original melodies, so those are the core of the music for this brand new Donkey Kong Country. Oh, okay. Retro employee, just... Retro employee, just an interesting note. The same composer that did all the Metroid Prime stuff is working with Nintendo's composer on the NCL side, and Mr. Yamamoto. We have a long relationship with him, and the goal was to use the familiar melodies but bring them into a more contemporary sound. We didn't want it any other way. How do you have DKC without that soundtrack? So we updated it using the staff we've used for all the other games we've worked on. Okay. So they just oh. chose to do it in-house because that's who they had on hand. Okay, fair enough. I don't, again, I don't know. I... Did you run out of bananas? Huh? Okay, I thought you had run out of bananas. No, that can't happen. I mean, not bananas, balloons. Oh, uh, that, you, the, the cap is 99. Um, <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've heard they tried getting David Wise, but I don't know if that's true, so that might just be bullcrap, but... I... I highly doubt that they didn't at least try to do something. Because, like, that's David Wise is like such a I iconic composer. It's like when you think Donkey Kong, you think David Wise. So I, I mean, the, the games that already moved on without him, and anyway, is I. Well, I mean, specifically the country games. Like his music is just synonymous with those with the country trilogy. It's just and it's just. I feel like they pr I, I mean, I, there's no way to know for sure, but I feel like they probably at least tried. Um, and um, I heard, I've i heard that it was just something that he couldn't do at the time. I, again, I could be completely wrong about this, but that would make some sense, I guess, because uh, he's back for Tropical Freeze, um, so... I don't know. It's, I, I guess it's food for four. I don't know. I I don't know if any of this is true. I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of making wild guesses right now. It's like we don't know what happens behind the scenes. Really getting a lot of mileage out of this uh, roll jump. Right. Okay, we're good on collectibles now. Um, you wanna like? Yep. That is like the worst place to enemy. Surprisingly long this level. That this level is. Don't be in the window. Oh. I was gonna say, like, yeah. what, the, what the hell happened? The, the, the wave full hit for the window. Yeah, I wasn't even, like... I don't yeah, think wise. Uh... Wait, what? Fucking articles 
describing David Wise were trying to compose a tropical freeze, and they don't touch upon returns, so... Based on an article from Game... Gamesia? I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, seems like Michael Kel... Michael Kel... who was a Nintendo of America employee... Who was a Nintendo of America employee who works for Retro... Or at least worked for Retro at the time. Michael Kelba, uh, Nintendo of America employee who worked on the old Donkey Kong Country games. He had wise contact, and he was working at Retro, and he's the guy who helped to get Donkey Kong Returns off the ground, so... Okay. He called, he contacted Wise personally to ask him to come back to Tropical Freeze. Okay. Otherwise, there's nothing else that says why he wasn't absent from Returns. I think it was just a internal decision from Nintendo just to use their own in-house talent. Alright, oh, fair enough. I mean, I guess it's fair enough to sit, like, trying to see uh, what you can make without um, being, like, restricted to old talent. Okay, be careful about this. Noting, uh, David Wise had, like, just resigned from Rare, like, a year prior to the returns coming out. Oh, oh, okay, fine. As far as development. Development to Dom hates, so it's possible I just could not contact him. That's very possible, yeah, that, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, that, yeah. I can buy that. I'm yes. still here for the record, I quiet. <laughs> yeah, that's a really cool level. Um, nice, it's nice to start to just ramping up the challenge. It's decent length, actually. Huh? Ramping up the challenge. Huh? Ramping up the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it's, the level is surprisingly long as well. Like, I mean, part of it is that it's very stop and go, obviously, but, you know... It's pretty lengthy for compared to most levels we've been through at this point. Okay, so uh we got some lava going on there. I mean, so nice. we get we get Diddy in this uh, if we even if we die, so that's nice. I'm just worried about oh, the puzzle pieces because like, I don't know how evil good the evil they're gonna be. I always get paranoid. They, it's like you never know when they're gonna hide something at the back. Level, you mind showing up? God. a lot of commentary during these parts. I'll just say that. I'm just gonna say that now. I mean, these two can say whatever the hell they want. I don't care, but... Uh, 
don't worry about me. Okay. I mean, yeah, guys, have like anything to talk about? <laughs> um, not really. <laughs> I had a long day at work. We're gonna be done after this world, so. Good. <laughs> Can you, like, bounce up, please? Ask more. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. These two are not. Just sad. <laughs> Good. I like it. Oh, I got you. I got to show you guys like a really bad um, escape the room game after this. What? You know, escape the room. Um, this escape room? Yeah, escape room. Like, those kinds of games. Yeah, what about it? There's, um, a really <laughs> hilariously bad one I need to show. It's not that- it, it, it won't- it probably won't take very long. I'm not- I'm not actually gonna be the one playing it. But... How the hell? That's definitely a puzzle phase. Yeah. That, that. that is like... Okay. Damn it. Somehow salvaged that. Again about that spike wall. Stupid super kind. Why is he here? Yeah, I don't I don't think he returns a tropical freeze, so I think he's stupid as that. Oh, he's your favorite? Huh? Yeah. No, I, I mean, like, like, I, mean I mean, I mean, super guide. I don't think he's in Tropical Furious. Or well, that that thing is. You know what I mean. Oh, come on. Is that every platform just falling on me today? Not. Not. I don't want to have this much trouble in World 2, come on. At least that curves Okay. At least that curves just enough to give you rise in these. Oh no? Okay, screw it. Just... Um, um... 
You're not supposed. Yeah, I think they really want you to not. They really want you to wait on that platform. Fine. So I feel like really anxious doing stuff like that. But if we don't see a platform, we just gotta try to stay on the one we're on. Ruhi hop powers to the max. Come on, let's go. Okay, so, no, no. Or I can just not reach the platform entirely. That this also also works. My friend just showed me a Twitter post that Kino already a few times. <laughs> It's a it's just a kanji and Naoto going to GameStop. Check content Naoto. New internal, please. <laughs> kanji and across the new horizon, please. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I love that. Um, I I love this meme. <laughs> yeah. It's like cute thing wants to do. Mean it, 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 like tough guy, tough guy on Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh okay. Alright. Clearly, I want you to bounce on the back of the last moment. Cause like, they, they really want you to like, like do it at the last minute, about like, the last second, rather. How the hell am I supposed to do this with just DK only? I'm gonna hate my life and have to do do the hard mode of this. Wait it out. There we go. Okay. And then this this screw off section. Which uh come on! There we go. Okay, come on. Go. How much of this what else do you want from me? Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Have mercy! Bats go away! I don't need your crap right now. Please just end. Okay, thank you. Good lord. Finally. Who are you? Good job, Harry. You made it. Oh god. Still, still got a long ways to go. And they're only gonna get harder. How dare you eat my bananas? Basically, just a um, just a boss version of a regular anime, more or less, just on the team against you. Donkey Kong Country game, then. Yeah. Well, more specifically, the first game, I guess. Uh, less so, two and three. Very naughty. Yeah. Oh. 
gonna take you out like that. Yeah. You're gonna like. Are you gonna actually like. Ground pound, maybe? Maybe. Alright, oh, I can do this. Ground okay, that works. Alright. <laughs> and then they do this. I think you have to do that two more times. Not the most exciting boss in the world. No. Okay, now they're being smart. Oh, hey. Let's not do that, please. Damn it. Try that again. I had to make a weird comparison to a friend of mine. And I had to uh, show him the scene from Final Fantasy IV of, of, of Sid like sacrificing himself. All oh, right. You remember that bit? Yes. The massive explosion thing. Oh, it's even more. It's even more epic in the in the, in the DS version. I'd imagine. By the way, in that, by the way, in that, by the way, in that version, there are like animated cutscenes. Oh. Yeah, voice even. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and um. Uh... Oh really? Is that that's it? I was expecting the third phase. Okay. And uh, K Canis was with Liam O'Brien. Oh wow. And oh, and Tussle was Jerry Lonsdal. Oh, nice. That was uh, kind of an underwhelming boss, I'm not gonna lie. I like the audience, like, what? Oh, by the way, actually, um, oh, by the way, um, actually, um, before we continue, um, before we end off the segment, can you do something with this? More guns. Uh, sort of. <laughs> um, can you go back to Fugly? Or to Mugly? Uh huh. Uh, beat the boss. And don't move. Oh, okay. I did want to actually show off the the puzzle, the stuff, the puzzle piece unlocks before ending the session as well. So. I all right, just show this first. Uh, I'm saying mostly because it's easier. Yeah. Or rather, it's faster. Yeah, just, just beat this one and don't move once the uh, thing comes out. Okay. Curious about this. I discovered that I just I, yeah I discovered this actually like by accident. It's not really it's not really anything like well or, like like. I, Can I start again? But, um, it's just, I, I, no, just kill me. It's it nothing really surprising or anything or like unique. It's just something I buy I want to show off. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he actually eats you up when he dashes at you. Yeah. I remember having like having to replay this fight over and over again to get a good time. Because I say 
trying to get like safe to get. You have to get him. You have to get him on each dash for once. Yeah, and just seeing if she can like. You have to know when she's gonna start doing the jumping. Yeah, and stuff like that where trying to get like multiple hits in at once. Multiple hits in one rotation, I guess. Yeah. Gonna bounce. Oh, crap. One more. There we go. All right, now just sit still for a little bit. <laughs> you can. Yeah, now we just sit still for a bit. Do we need to? Uh, are we not allowed to move at all? Don't move. Okay. Yeah, well, just just don't hit the tiki. Oh. You run away. Oh. Whoa, okay. Yep, they all do that. They all do that. Huh. So get away from my I TV. I didn't want to show that off. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Fair enough. I okay. didn't want to show that off, which I... Okay. Uh, so I'm sorry. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. You learned something new today. <laughs> mini... Mini jump scare. <laughs> Roar! Does anything happen in your tropical freeze? No, because as soon as you land the final hit, it goes straight into the punch scene. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, so... We'll Here you have to actively go up and attack them. Yeah. Okay, so before we end it, uh, what you get from the puzzle pieces is um, a bunch of concept art and whatnot. So if I just go to extras here... Um, Kind of look through some of these. Um, just have some fun looking at these, I guess. Ock. Oh. Chintra. Owl. <laughs> Snaggles. Oh, Squidicus. Imagine how horrifying these renders would have been if they were characters in the old trilogy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. in Tropical yeah. Freeze you get, like, really cool dioramas. I don't know if that's a thing in this one. Screaming Pella. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. We got Mugly. Oh, mm. Safe. I don't usually look at this stuff, but it's, uh, if I'm going out of my way to get these uh, puzzle pieces, I might as well show these off. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, I like these. Ooh. <laughs> so DK looking like an actual real-life gorilla there. Look at Diddy. Oh, I didn't see Diddy. Where is he? Oh. On the statue. <laughs> that looks really weird. Yeah, right? It looks like a mouse one and monkey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What, that, is, when when did this become Pirates of the Caribbean? Da, da, da. Hey, if, we, if you look in those ship in the background, you can see Sora. <laughs> the, the, this this picture's lying. <laughs> you never go underwater. <laughs> Probably just some... Maybe they're in a scrap. Maybe. And... They probably had... They, I, I, th this kind of tells me they planned to have water levels, but they just didn't have them for whatever reason. And then it's DK's house. I think that is it. What else is there? Uh, music is. We. I don't think we need to really worry about this stuff. I'll just go on here just to get rid of the stars. Here we go, diorama. Okay, this stuff is really cool. I like the. I, I really like these. So you just see like. Cool. Look around. Yeah, Look just... around the area. There might be things hidden behind the pillars. Yeah. Uh, something. I remember something had like a hidden thing. Mm. Look at Look at Diddy. Look at Diddy. Going on with Diddy back there, like, what? Having on to the He's tail of the elephant. Phone. Yeah, but like. Ah! His face, though, like. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was looking at his face wrong. I thought it was. I thought his face was covered up by like a butterfly or something. <laughs> would have been that would have been like a nice box art. Just. Oh, yeah. And then we have this. <laughs> now this stuff is really cool. Squid. Yeah. Like. Uh... Look at DK and Diddy. <laughs> I like uh, D uh, Diddy like having his. Peanut pop runs out. What's behind? Is there anything behind the squid? Uh, not really. Nope. Yeah, the, you don't. These, these are uh, fine enough incentive to get the puzzle pieces because it's like it's nice just side stuff that if you don't care, you don't really need to bother with them. But I think it's a nice. I I, th I think it's a nice little extra and then. Um, I remember actually getting some of the ones in Tropical Freeze and just kind of marveling at some of the artwork because, like, some of the stuff in that game is, like, incredible. But... Look at our models. Yeah, basically. But there's going to be plenty more plenty more time to look at this stuff in the future. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be all from us for now. So, see? Um... Well, I'll see you guys in the time trial montage stuff, um, and Luck. <laughs> and uh, these guys uh, will will see will see more of the game when we come back for World Three. So uh, yeah, fun times. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.